And now to a developing story. The man convicted of murdering the owner of the Napomo swap meet back in 1980 could soon be free. As KSBY news reporter Alexa Bertola explains, that man was just granted parole. District Attorney Dan Dow is trying to get the parole board's decision overruled. Now the victim's granddaughter is sharing her thoughts. To find out that he was granted parole was just mind blowing. On October 5th, 1980, Edward Joseph Prokop murdered the owner of the Napomo swap meet, Robert T. Folkerts. So we don't have our grandfather here. Um, my dad wasn't able to grow up with his father. The victim's vehicle was found somewhere here along Camino Caballo Road. With uh, the victim shot multiple times inside that vehicle, the defendant was not anywhere around. In fact, the defendant left California. District Attorney Dan Dow says Prokop was on the run for one year before being arrested for murder. He was sentenced to 27 years to life. But this wasn't his first run-in with the law. Before the murder, Dow says Prokop was still wanted by police in Arizona for an armed robbery that got him shot. The victim in our case, the owner of the swap meet in Napomo, did not know of that uh, criminal history. He was a kind and generous person. He helped out whoever needed it. You know, he he let the guy stay there for free, you know, just just for work. Dow says Prokop, now confined to a prison cell, has asked for parole numerous times. We do find uh, right now with a growing number, uh, more people seem to be meeting the parole board's criteria and being released today than um, at prior times in California history. Dow says it comes down to their performance in prison and things like age, signs of remorse, and understanding and plans for the future. But the victim's family is pleading for the decision to be overturned. He's a tremendous risk to the community's safety and he can't get out. The decision could become final in 120 days. We believe and we um, ask the board to keep him in. We do believe he's an unreasonable risk uh, to the community if he's released. He's going to be out in the general public and, you know, I don't want my kids or anybody else in my family to be harmed. And if the decision is not overturned by the governor, he could be released within five months. In San Luis Obispo, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. We did reach out to Procop's lawyer for comment, but have not yet heard back.